they slept together, they ate together. They definitely taught each other. For example, Charlie taught Dora how to eat hay, which is uh, not normal. Do you want to do everything Charlie does? We heard of a little lamb who was very sick and orphaned and wasn't probably going to live at the farm he was at. So a few friends of mine rallied together to get Charlie to our sanctuary. We brought Charlie into our home and immediately Dora the kitten was very, very interested in him. I sat down in the chair to introduce Charlie to my husband as well. And she just went right over to him and smelled him and gave him a good once over and she never really left his side from that time on. They were fast friends ever since. When Dora showed up in our lives, she was just wet little calico kitten about four and a half weeks old. We don't know what her past was. We live in the countryside, so there's a lot of barn cats, but she seems to have something very special about her. She's very, very caring. Even when our daughter was born, she would watch over her bassinet and peek up over and make sure she was okay. She just was part of our family immediately. They're a dynamic duo. They really get themselves into trouble. Do you think, Dora? Hi, Candy Foolie. One time I had this big open box, so Dora jumped and fell on the box, and then Charlie ran over to make sure she was okay. So they've always got their eyes on each other. He lived in the house with us for three months until he was old enough to go outside. Yeah, Charlie knocks on the door when he wants to come in. But once he was strong and old enough and we were able to rescue some more sheep, he moved down to the barn. Charlie has never forgotten us. He comes when he's called. He Charlie! He absolutely knows his name. <laughs> Good boy. But he's still very loving, loves getting hugs and kisses. I love you so much, Charlie. Now Dora comes down and still visits him at the barn. And even now when she comes down, she walks through the fence like she owns the place and she'll walk up to Charlie and give him a sniff. Dora visits every day. She comes down, she sees all the sheep, the goats. She'll sit on top of the rabbit cages and watch the bunnies. Or she'll walk along the top of the fence and make sure all the pigs are behaving. So she's a little mama kitty. They had such an incredible bond. They didn't realize that one was a cat and one was a sheep. They were the same to each other. It didn't matter what they looked like on the outside. They found each other when they both really needed to find somebody. And we were lucky enough to witness it. Every moment was amazing. She's really an amazing kitty cat for sure. And he, well, he's my sheep son. What else can I say? <laughs>